Hey guys, welcome to Quirk House. This is day 63 of quarantine. As you can tell by my hair, it's very tall and it's getting pretty unruly on the sides as well as the back has gotten coattails. So today we're going to be showing you my routine of how I cut my hair. I've been actually cutting my hair for about two years now and for me, that saved a bunch of money and allowed me to do other things with my dollars. All right, so let's get into it. So the first thing you'll need are some specific supplies. I use a pretty normal clipping set. I'm going to show it you here on the ground. I use a wall, not sponsored, clipper set, pretty generic, as well as a shoestring which I'll show you what you need it for later. A pair of scissors, and then a number three trim attachment. All right, to get started, I'm um, gonna need my glasses off. And what I've been working with, this is going to be a trim on the top as well as on the sides and you can see that the hair on top is significantly longer it's about three inches and my hair on the side is about an inch right now maybe a little bit longer and so I'm going to be collecting and parting all of the hair that is longer on the top and I'm going to capture that together you're going to want to look for a part in your hair if you don't you're going to want to create one in a very similar spot. So I'm separating out my hair. You can see this hair is shorter than the rest of it. And you try to make a nice clean line going from your temple back. And then I'm going to um, turn on the clippers. To attach the clippers, just snaps on, really easy. This is 3 eighths of an inch. This little lever here is when it's down, it's longer. When it's up, it's shorter. So I'm going to start it shorter so it's a true 3 eighths of an inch. So there's the part again. And... All right, side one done. Now you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Find that peak of my temple. And then I'm brushing down or separating with a comb to find a nice part in my hair. I want it to be nice and straight and run to the back. And because I'm holding this down, there shouldn't be any problem with hitting the hair that's to stay longer. All right, that's side two. So now that the two sides are done, you can see it's a pretty clean line. I'll go back up and clean it up at the end, um, as well as clipping anything that seems a little bit long that I miss. But we're going to move to the back. The back is probably the hardest part, especially if your hair is all one length currently. What I do for the back is I pull up a second mirror. You can use a hand mirror as well but I'm just using it to see the back of my head. And so you're going to repeat the same process of pulling back the long hair as well as you can. And you can see about most of it, it's easier for my hair because it's all one length on top. you start to feel you don't have any of the short stuff. So I think that's good.
And so, now that everything is the same length, I'm going to be just cleaning up, making sure you get all the little bits, and we'll move on to the top. So I pushed up all the hair on the top. You can see it's, it's getting cleaned up on the sides, <clears throat> and it's all that short length. I still have yet to do the back, which I'll show you in a minute, but for now we'll work on the top. So what I do is very... Some people will keep it this length and you can start to style it, especially if it gets a little bit longer. Um, it can be pushed to the side, <laughs> yeah, or a mohawk. What I'm looking for is the longest pieces of hair. I'm going to figure out how much I want. I usually like about two inches, which means that just above my fingers, is, this is the hair that I want to trim off. And so I will be pulling up and snipping off the tops. And you just want to get all of the very tallest pieces. Okay, because my hair is a little bit drier than I realized, I'm gonna need a little bit of water on my hands so that I can pull it to the side. What this allows me to see is which hair is the longest and then to give it a nice clean cut. You can see a lot of the, there's a couple of very long pieces of hair. And I'm just going to lift it away from my head so I don't get the smaller hairs. And go straight across. About an inch below um, the part that we had. Let's push down. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And that will allow me to get a pretty even cut. <clears throat> We're not going for perfect here. You can see those long pieces again. And that's again about an inch below the part. So all I've left is a couple Tall pieces in the middle and we should be close to done. Again, this, you don't have to be too careful as long as you're putting your hand in between your hair and your head because it gives you a good two inches starting to be <clears throat> about the style that I like. Once I get some gel into it, it'll be a little bit more uh, contemporary. And all that we have left is the back. Okay, now I'm going to take this shoelace, which I got off a old pair of shoes. And I started this way because before I didn't have a wife and no one to cut the back of my hair. And so what I do is I find the highest point in the middle of my hair and then I put this line across. You can also use the mirror to reference this. You're going to hold a straight line across and then pull it towards you. I'm then going to hold these two lines. You can feel this line is just at the top of the highest point of my hair, and then you want to get rid of these coattails. So for that, I'm going to flick off the blue, and that's going to give me a really close, um, close shave. I'm going to tilt the lever up a bit so I don't nick my neck at all. And with this, 
it's not going to hurt you, so you don't have to be too careful as long as you don't have any moles. And you're going to take the metal part and you're going to follow the string. The last step is the most difficult, and it's to clean up the edges around the back of your head. So what I'm trying to do here is get just a clean line down to that point where I put the string across. You may have to play for a couple minutes to get used to the backwards mirror, but it's all you want on that side. Move around to the other side. part is I trim these up to be about mid earlobe and then I just trim around the top of my ears Trying to square these off a little. All right, <laughs> I'm pretty much done. So that's my hair cutting routine. Uh, it takes about 30 minutes now. It used to take about an hour. And it kind of depends, but now since it's down to 30 minutes and I'm saving 25 bucks, uh, it's it's been a real help. Just finished up my shower and I'm ready to tackle the day. I hope you've learned something new here, or maybe refined with a bunch of other videos on how to cut your own hair and that maybe you take this through to outside of quarantine. I know I've enjoyed cutting my hair, it's kind of methodical and enjoyable to me that I can do something on my own and save money that way. Don't forget to come back and join us for cutting Sassy's hair. She's not super excited about it.